Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video we're gonna cover PHP interpolation. <laughs> what is interpolation? Well, it's a way to access arrays and methods and properties inside double quotes. So, I've broken them down in four categories. First is the preferred way, then there's valid alternatives, then there's the only way, and finally there are all the invalid ways to access properties, etc. So let's go over the preferred method first. So if you have an array with a single associative key and there's no spaces in that associative key, you must enclose the whole thing in curly brackets. Now, next, uh, if you uh, have just a numeric array with a numeric key, then you don't need any curly brackets for that. And that's, that only applies to single, uh, single dimensional arrays. Now, <clears throat> this is a really cool one here. Uh, if you have an object and you're trying to access a property name, you don't need any curly brackets. And this is the one that I've just found out about as I was making this video. I thought that you had to enclose those in curly brackets before. And as it turns out, you don't have to. So this is just a really clean way of accessing property names of your objects. So next, there's a valid alternatives. Okay, so this one I also didn't know about. So if you have a associative single uh, dimensional array and you try to access the associative key name, you actually don't have to enclose it in the quotes, in the single quotes in this case. And uh, PHP manual, uh, uh, that's what they say, you don't have to enclose that in, in any quotes. However, it can get a little messy later on. Uh, if you try to print this out outside of double quotes, it's not gonna work. Also, if you have a space in your associative key, that's also not going to work out. So I still prefer uh, the preferred method of enclosing the uh, associative key inside the curly brackets, inside the double quotes when you have a single associative array key. Okay, so if you have a numeric key, you can also enclose that in curly brackets, but these uh, curly brackets are optional. So I prefer this way here. And uh, also under valid alternatives, we have our property names. You can also enclose them in curly brackets, but they're also optional as I've just found out. Okay, so the third is the only way you can access, um, you can access uh, the uh, properties. And in this case, you, we're trying to access object method. And uh, you can access object method if you enclose it in curly brackets. However, that's not true for regular functions. As you can see down here, I've uh, concatenated the function with the dots, with the concatenate operators. So when it comes to object methods, you can enclose that in curly brackets, but when, you, when, I, when it comes to functions, you must concatenate it. Okay, next up we got a associative uh, single dimensional array with space, which you must enclose in curly brackets. And for any multidimensional arrays, just remember that we have to enclose all multidimensional array keys in curly brackets, whether they're numeric or associative. Okay, so function names, you must concatenate and constant, you also must concatenate constants. You can just put them inside the double quotes with curly brackets or in any other way. Okay, so invalid methods here, um, you can see that <clears throat> I've uh, printed the array with an associative key outside the double quotes, which is not gonna work. You're gonna get an error. Here, uh, up next is a constant enclosed in uh, curly brackets, which is not gonna work as well. Next is a function name enclosed in curly brackets, which is also not gonna work. As you can see, the uh, text highlighter is interpreting the values as just strings. Next up, we got a object properties, which are enclosed in a single curly brackets. That's invalid. Uh, next, we have a method call, which is not enclosed in curly brackets. That's not gonna work, as opposed to method properties. Next up, we got a multidimensional array, which is uh, not enclosed in curly brackets. That's not gonna work. And uh, <clears throat> up next, we got a, a array, which is, which got a, which is a multidimensional array that has a string key followed by the numeric key, which is enclosed in curly brackets. Now, that, that is a tricky one because you can use a single dimensional array without enclosing the, the uh, key in single quotes. 
but when it comes to multidimensional arrays, you can't, you absolutely must include, uh, enclose the random keyword here in uh, single or double quotes, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, next up we got a associative array with a space in it, that's not gonna work, so you must enclose it in curly brackets. And next up we got a numeric multidimensional arrays, which we also must enclose in curly brackets. And finally we got these two, which uh, this is another way of accessing your keys outside of the array. You can actually use curly brackets instead of square brackets, but it's not gonna work when it comes to enclosing, when it comes to accessing them inside of double quotes. So I definitely recommend using square brackets when accessing all array keys outside of double quotes. So you guys can go ahead and download this uh, sort of a cheat sheet to your computer and uh, I hope it's gonna help you out. If you like this video, please go ahead and click like and I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.